Alabama lawmakers have begun the 2015 legislative session with a grim budget outlook and a push to raise taxes by Governor Robert Bentley. Local 15 Stephen Quinn in Montgomery today to learn what legislators plan to do with the state's budget. As the gavel sounded on a new legislative year in Montgomery, members of both parties addressed a problem years in the making. I made a promise to voters and, and many of our members, including the governor, made promises to the voters that we would not vote to raise taxes and, and I feel like that we should uh, stand by our promises. That is, however, exactly what Governor Robert Bentley will propose in his speech before a joint session of the legislature later tonight. On Friday, members received details of the governor's proposed $541 million tax increase. The proposal has already split many of Bentley's Republican colleagues before some have even read the proposal. In talking with my colleagues, I've not found anybody uh, willing to confiscate $700 million from the working people of the state of Alabama or whether they're Republican or Democrat, so I'm not sure it's going to go very far. Despite Congressman Pringle's claims, I was able to find other Republicans who say they are keeping their options open. You can never say, you know, never in that respect. Uh, some of the things that we have to do are dealing with emergency issues, and uh, so we're almost at that point. As a whole, state Democrats appear more open to the governor's proposal to increase taxes. Cuts to the state budget, however, are a different story. I really think that we've done a lot of cutting already. I think that state agencies have already received a, a, a lot of cuts to the point now we're seeing some results of that. And, and I really think that we need to look at all sides when we're looking at trying to fill the $700 million deficit. State Republicans say they are looking at budget cuts and merging the state's general and education budgets to avoid tax increases. Uh, we have cut and cut until we can't cut anymore, and they have borrowed from the savings account uh, that we can't borrow anymore. Basically, we're, we're living off interest right now. Uh, people are hurting in Alabama. Uh, we're for trying to find revenue without having to raise taxes. Legislators from both parties expect the battle over this budget to continue for months to come. Reporting in Montgomery, I'm Stephen Quinn. Alabama.